Hey you guys, I'm going to try to bang out a quick episode of the Certified Hoarder Show here. If it's your first time, welcome. I'm a Christian, um, saved by grace. I have such a hard time describing myself. All I can tell you is my intention is to serve the kingdom of God because he's been so good to forgive me for all the things I did. I was an atheist and he came to me in my hour of need and thank you, Lord Jesus. So the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about this evening this one is particularly for those of you that are in a breakup, a separation, potentially going through a divorce, um, not divorced yet, you know, especially if you've got kids. I mean, you don't have to be married to have kids that the children makes the relationship pretty serious. But this is a piece of advice that I've just recently had to learn the hard way. Like, like the only way I ever learned lessons is the hard way. And this piece of advice is going to be do not see other people in your separation. Seeing other people in your separation almost puts the last nails in the coffin of your relationship because when you do reconcile or when you're trying to reconcile, when you're trying to get back together, there's all of this other hurt about just comparing like, oh, well, you know, you were dating that guy. You did so quickly for him what you withheld from me or all he had to do was say a few compliments. I say compliments all day long and you don't hear me. You ignore them. He says one or two cute things and you're over the moon for him. Or she might be saying, look, I see you happy and, and you know, you're talking lovey-dovey with that girl, but I've invested all this. Look, I raised your kids. I did this. I did that. Why don't you treat me that way? If there was ever anything worth saving, then you should try to reconcile and that process will be almost certainly derailed if you involve a third party, fourth party, fifth party. So this idea of like, let's take a year, see other people and see if we want to get back together. You probably will want to get back together because the dating world's a mess. I mean, somebody peed in the gene pool out there. You have to experience it. But if you go your own separate ways for a period of time, you may not be able to come back to your together ways ever again because of the new drama. You had enough problems before, you know, you had sufficient amount of problems to cause you to separate before you added anybody else into your mix. It's definitely not going to get better when you do add other people into your mix. It's almost guaranteed destruction. Thanks for watching. Praise the Lord. God bless you and I love you.